Uh, I'm Native American. I'm Sioux, Nespers, Cherokee, Creek, Dutch, and French. I grew up in, I uh, was born in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. I grew up in three different Indian reservations. The funny thing, I didn't know any better until I moved away. And then I realized how, how much poverty and uh, dysfunction there is on a reservation. But it's not all bad. That's the thing is, is that I had, when I was there, I had seen a lot as a kid, but I didn't know any better. And for me, I had a lot of good times there, especially with family. My mother and father uh, are educators, they're teachers. I want to hear about other stories. I want to um, learn about other people's cultures. I wanted to hear about more ideas about from indigenous people around the world. I want to hear their ideas and a table to relate them to what I've been through and what I've seen as uh, an American Indian, Native American of the states. So that's what I'm looking forward to and just meeting people and how they're making sustainable change in their community and maybe taking some of those ideas and helping to help me when I go back home in my community. That's what I'm mainly looking out for. I do different types of talks. One is in, to help uh, uh, inspire kids, youth, uh, inspirational uh, conversations with youth, especially with native kids who don't really have those opportunities. It's able to, like, if they want to, they could leave the reservation, obtain their dreams, whatever they want. You can always go home. You can always come back and help out your community, which is what I do. Also, I talk about drugs and alcohol, uh, the, from the plight of the, of the Native American, um, what the damage has done uh, throughout our history and our culture, and also to talk about uh, our culture as well as being uh, American Indians and, and uh, Aboriginal people of the United States and being proud of our culture and to help hold on to that, because uh, it's a beautiful culture. Uh, and I think we should very be proud of where we come from. I think it was because I'm very lucky. That's what it is. I've seen a lot before I became an actor. If actually, you know, the whole thing blew up on me. I had seen, experienced a lot uh, and, and witnessed a lot of dysfunction, poverty, just things that weren't, I didn't feel really right in the world with. Acting was something that was planted in my head a long time ago and I just thought it'd be a really cool job. And it wasn't until I moved to New York and found out it was a craft and I had to like study and I studied and I worked at it and I bartended, waited tables, auditioned. Um, but now that I've, I'm able to work and doing what I love to do, I'm very fortunate, very happy about it. I, I love acting. I really do. I love film sets. It's like joining the circus and I never want to leave. <laughs> Role model, I think it, uh, it's not something I, I, I tried to set out to do. Uh, it was just fortunate circumstances. And I think that uh, I don't try to, I try to conduct myself in a, in a, in a good manner. That's about it. I do give, believe in giving back to the community, and that's what I do. But it's a role that I just, I think that uh, it just kind of fell into, and since I'm here, I might as well do the best I can with it.